Hello, this is Aiden with Radiant Energy. Today we will be showing you how to check proper vacuum on your Corivac system. Corivac by Robert Scordon is a designed heating system, typically with multiple burners in series, and the combustion air for all the burners is driven by a vacuum pump at the end of the system. You can see an example of a Corivac system here in this picture. Your system will not be identical to this, as all systems are designed specific to the building they are in, but vacuum specifications do not change. You will need a manometer to verify the vacuum. You can use a digital manometer like the one we are using, or a liquid manometer if you have one. Just be sure to know how to read the measurement correctly on whichever tool you're using. The burner we have on our test stand here is a B-series Corivac burner. This is an older B-series burner. The new burners are painted black, but if you have a new burner, uh, this video is applicable to your system. The vacuum set points we will be discussing are also applicable to E-series Corivac burners, which is an older system. To start, we are taking our initial reading at the intake through the end vent plate. Without the burner running, we should see between 2.5 to 3 inches of water column of vacuum. If it is outside of this range, you will need to adjust the damper coupler on your system until you are in range. Next, still with the burner off, we're going to check the vacuum at the mixing block port inside your burner housing. This will ideally be the same as your reading through the end vent, maybe slightly lower. If it is significantly lower, especially below two inches of water column, then there is restriction. Then there is a restriction in your burner, which will cause poor heating performance and improper combustion. It may not even fire. If this is the case, you will need a new ceramic block on your burner head. These can collect particulates over time and become clogged. After you've given power to the burner, it will establish airflow for 45 seconds and then ignite. There we go. <laughs> okay, now the burner is lit and there's a flame on this burner. While firing, the vacuum through the mixing block port will drop and the desired vacuum when firing is negative 0.7 inches of water column. If the vacuum while firing is much different than 0.7 or negative 0.7, give us a call and we will discuss additional troubleshooting steps, but it should be close to this correct value if the vacuum was correct when the burner was off. Corivac parts are available online at our store. Visit RadiantEnergy.com to shop and feel free to contact us with any troubleshooting questions you have. Be sure to subscribe as more troubleshooting videos will be posted. If you have any requests for future videos, please let us know in the comments. Thanks. Have a great day.